Right, so we have Man of the Match Werner, we have second in for Moss, and we have this Man of the Match Fred. Now, Fred actually looks insane. I'm not going to stay on him for too long, but look at those stats for a centre mid. They are pretty incredible. High, high work rates. Obviously, his physical is the worry, but hopefully his interceptions and his tackling isn't too bad. His aggression's pretty high, so hopefully that can cancel out his low strength. But we've also got second in for Moss, who looks uh, pretty nice. He's had a pretty nice upgrade. I, I didn't think they'd upgrade him as much as what they have. But they did, and they put his, his shooting up by like five. They put all his stats up by like a decent amount, so you can't really complain. Like I said, his in-game stats are just really, really nice. 95 agility, incredible dribbling stats, five-star skills, obviously. And we got Werner as well, who hasn't had the biggest of upgrades, but it's still decent enough. I paid 175 for him. I've just checked his price. He's like 140k. He has dropped like hell, so yeah, I've lost a bit of coins on him. But his in-game stats, as you can see, pretty nice. 94 finishing, you know. Good agility, good balance, good dribbling as well. Let's get into a game anyway. But before we do, here are the custom tactics. They have not changed from the last video. And I'm changing formation in game, so I'll show you what I put the player instructions as in game. Let's see what team this guy has. Oh, he's got Tim and Messi. Fair enough. He's got a pretty average team around them, not gonna lie. Like they, that is a yeah, it's a pretty average team, but he's got Team the uh, Messi, and I'm guessing he's going to be subbing off that silver striker as well. I shall show you what I do in game. You guys will probably know this. It's, it's pretty easy to figure out. 4 3 1 2. Werner's going on the right. More loss at calm. Yeah, it's all it's all set up. I might put uh, Goretzka in the middle just to. Now, nah, we'll leave it as that for now. If uh, if it gets any if it gets bad, then we'll just put Goretzka in the middle for a bit more pace. Game behind, press back line on the front too, as you can see. Stay forward on the calm. Stay back while attacking on the center center mid. Everything else is as it as it normally is. So yeah, let's go. Is it Morlos? Go on, Morlos. He's apparently got some strength. Oh, Morlos! Oh! <laughs> yes, and he's quit. He's quit. Oh my god! As if you've quit because of that, Morlos. You absolute beauty. Yes, man. Oh, I didn't think he was going to pull it off. I thought he'd read it for a second, but then I just saw the ball go over his play, and I was like, here we go. This is the time. Let's go, Marlos. And he's put it into the back of the net. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get into another game. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Uh, Premier League team. Fair enough. I'm not really surprised, if I'm completely honest. De Bruyne has got five-star weak foot now. I was just about to say five-star skills. Got five star weak foot now. I don't know why EA ever took his five star weak foot away. I really don't because he's like one of the most deserving five star weak foot players. That's it, Royce. Werner. Beautiful from Werner. Can he finish it? Of course he can. Let's go. Happy days. Beautiful little dribbling from Werner. Got himself in behind. Maybe this Werner overtakes Batshuayi as the best Bundesliga striker. You never know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes in the. Next couple of few games, we'll see what happens. But so far, he feels really good. You know, he's making runs in behind. His dribbling feels fantastic. Obviously, that finish there as well. So he's finishing. Happy days. Oh, Werner's in and he's finished it. He feels really quick. Like, his, his first inform felt quick, but it didn't feel lightning. Like, he didn't have that burst that, you know, you just go past defenders. He didn't feel electric if you know what I mean like it's hard to explain it didn't feel like Lozano pace you know or like play them with Mane pace it didn't feel that sort of raw burst but this version feels a bit better to be honest it really does <laughs> look at Werner go look at Werner go and he's oh he's at the bar oh, to be fair it was a tough tough chance Goretzka Fred let's see what you got Fred Oh, he's hit, the, he's hit the post, but, you know, we still get the goal with Werner. Happy days. Vern, I mean, Fred, sorry, so far has been exceptional. I have been, like, just passing it to him in midfield, just dribbling it past midfielders, you know. He's dribbling and his agility and stuff feels very, very nice. He feels very comfortable on the ball. It was a nice finesse shot as well. It's a pity at the post, but Werner gets the rebound and he gets his hat-trick as well. You lost your connection. Guy rage quit. I'm not surprised. Let's get into another game. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Now, this guy, this guy has a nice team. That is a very nice team. I am assuming he will be changing. Do you know what? I like the way he's done that, actually, because he's going to obviously change the game, put Malinkovic Savic at center mid, Werner up top, and he's used it because Malinkovic Savic has kind of got some strange links. He's got some dodgy links, whereas this guy's obviously, 
you know, changed it up a little bit. So fair enough, fair play to him. I like the way he's done it. And yeah, hopefully we can beat this guy. I, I, I read that pass, man. I, my player was right there. So annoying when uh, when he lets the pass go through like that. My player was literally right there. Watch this. I know he does the drag back, but I literally... Look, I positioned my player right there, and he somehow just gets it past my player's foot. Only just by the tiniest little bit. Oh, man. My player was right there again. Oh, the game's not letting me off this game, man. It's really not. I'm, I'm putting my players there. It's just... Going through me somehow, I, I don't know. I like, look, that should be blocked, man. Royce, come on, there we go. Happy days. 2 1, back into it. Come on, Royce, let's go. Oh, man, it's locked me onto the wrong defender. It's locked me onto the wrong defender, man. Why does it do this? It only happens in daily knockout tournament or weekend league. It's the only time I have problem with uh, with player switching. I don't know why it locks me onto the wrong defender all the time. It's weird because I have auto switching turned off. That's that's why it's strange because I have auto switching turned off and it switches me. That's it. Werner. Werner. Great finish. Let's go. Come on. Come on. 3-2. This guy's a good player. He really is. He's a very good player. He's holding on to, holding on to possession really well. He's got some really good players as well. He's stopping me in midfield, and uh, yeah, like I said, good player. Hopefully we can beat this guy, but it's going to take a bit of a struggle. That's it. Brzezinski. Oh my god, Brzezinski. What are you doing there? Why are you there? Why? I thought that was Royce. Honestly, I thought it was Royce for a second. I was like, oh, come on then. Let's, let's pass it to Royce just inside the box. He's going to finish it if he gets enough space. But Brzezinski's there. Then again, he still finished it, you know. Well played by Werner as well. He, he shielded off Alaba in that position. There. I'm not too sure if it'll be in the in the little clip, but yeah, he, he did. He shrugged off Alaba. He did really, really well. Great assist by him. That's it, Werner. Werner, come on. Oh my god, yes. What a finish. Come on, Werner, man. He feels so much better than his first in form. I'm going to be completely honest. He feels a lot better than his first in form. By quite a bit as well. It looks nothing like him though. That's my only gripe. Is with players in these big leagues. You know like Bundesliga, Serie A, Prem. They should all have game faces in my opinion. Like only a select few have them. And I don't know why. Oh I was right there. I've, I've read. Oh my god. I've read both of those passes. I have read both of those passes. They need to fix it man. You need to fix interceptions here. Unless it feels like if you're controlling the player. Then you're not allowed to intercept the ball. Whereas if you just let your defender do it for you, you intercept the ball. It's so stupid, man. Like I'm like my player, I placed it right in the path of the pass, and it just doesn't let me intercept it. What even is this? So Don Lozano, of course he has. You know, he's he's literally the savior for majority of the people who play weekend league, who play FIFA. They just sub on Lozano. It's it's just. It's a bit boring, but, you know, I really, sh I should have already won this game. Like, that last goal I conceded, I should not have conceded. I, inter I was literally there to intercept the ball twice. Ah, uh, well, that's GG. Lost 6-4. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to try and stay positive all the time about FIFA? It's, Im it's impossible. You, I'll be surprised if you meet one person who is always positive about FIFA. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know anybody, anybody who is always positive about FIFA. There is always some sort of, oh, something going on, man. There's always something happening which infuriates you. Like, you know, for example, reading the pass twice. Oh, I can't get over it, man. The amount of times I went to intercept the balls that he was playing and he just wouldn't let me, even though my player was right there, it infuriates me. But let's get into one last final game anyway. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Oh, okay. He's got Will Grigg. My <laughs> match Will Grigg. Fair enough. Uh, Del Piero. You know, not bad. And Del Piero. I've, I've, I, I can't really complain. Del Piero. But that's literally his first attack. That's, that's all I'm going to say. It's his first attack. I've, li I've had like... I've been dominating him pretty much. He's not really had much of the ball. Oh my god, what am I doing? That was awful. But yeah, he's not had much of the ball. That was his first attack and he scored from it. It's a great ball from Marlos. 
Let's go, Werner. There we go. Happy days. Great ball from Molos. Really is. That was absolutely pinpoint perfect. Just beautiful, really. Great finish from Werner as well. I was kind of worried he wasn't going to finish that, but I'm glad he did. Molos. Oh, outside of the post, man. That was such a nice strike. As well. Oh, it was a deflection. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> the amount of time. Oh, my. This is... FIFA's terrible today. FIFA is awful today, man. <coughs> I... I'm done. Marlos. Do you know what? That's that's lovely. That is lovely, Marlos. Hopefully we can... Maybe we can get back into it. There's five minutes. This guy's probably going to waste time. He has been passing it around the back quite a lot, lot. Just passing it around his midfield and stuff. He's not really been trying to attack me since he went 3-1 up. But that's a beautiful little chip from Marlos. It's a good assist from Werner, I think it was. And yeah, it's just... This game's annoyed me today, man. Like, the amount of time that... Look, I'm tackling him. I I just keep tackling people. And it's just not happening. I'm in genuine disbelief. I can't believe I've lost that. I'm just... I That's dumb. That's me done for FIFA for today. I'm not going to be playing any more games. Not after that shit show. I'm sorry. I, I've tried to call out swearing and stuff out of my videos. Not after that shit show. I am not playing FIFA after that. That, that was horrendous. The amount of times I would, like... Be there. I, my player would be there. He should be intercepting the ball. He's right there. Or I will tackle them. And I'd tackle them like three times. Still get the ball back. It's so infuriating. It's so stupid. What's the point even having the tackle button? What's the point in pressing B? If you're just going to get the ball back like that. It's just... It's ridiculous. It really is. I, I really hate FIFA when it's like this. So yeah, that's me done for FIFA today. And yeah. Lost. You can't win them all. So... Yeah, I, it's so hard to stay positive. Now I've calmed down a little bit. To be fair, I know I, the two games I lost, I, as much as I feel like I didn't deserve to lose them, they were good players. They were good players, so I, I can't moan too much. Timo Werner. Now, he is excellent. I'm going to be honest, he is excellent. I, I know I lost two games in this video, but he was, he was very, very good. And I really enjoyed using him. He's really quick, obviously. That's Timo Werner. Everyone knows that Timo Werner is quick. Attacking positioning wise, absolutely fantastic. He's got the tries to beat defensive line trait as well. So he's always making that running behind and he, it makes him very, very dangerous and it makes opponents fear him a little bit. The fact that he can just keep running in behind over and over and over again. And obviously his finishing is, is very, very clinical. I felt very confident in front of goal with him. And yeah, in terms of shooting and attacking position, I had no problems whatsoever. Passing wise... Quick one twos is fine. I wouldn't really try any long passes. Whenever I did try long passes, it, went, it either went astray or it just like got intercepted very, very easily. So, yeah, I wouldn't really try any long passes. But in terms of short passing, absolutely fine. You can do quick one twos with him. Agility wise, I had no problems. That's the one thing I didn't really like about the first inform. He felt a little stiff on the ball. That was literally the only problem I had with him. And he just he didn't have that raw burst of speed. Whereas this Man of the Match card does. And, uh, yeah, this card feels a lot more agile. Feels a lot better dribbling-wise. Physical-wise, now, this is the downfall with Timo Werner, really. He, uh, he's not very strong. He gets knocked off the ball very easily. Every now and then, if you're in front of the player, you can maybe shield it off like he did once with Alaba in one of the games, which he assisted Brzezinski. I don't know why Brzezinski was there, but, yeah, he, he, he can shield him off every now and then, but I really wouldn't try and get physical battles with him because he will lose those physical battles. He loses the ball. Very, very easily. Now, we'll move on to Molos. I actually really enjoyed Molos. He feels very nice and smooth on the ball. He feels excellent on the ball, really. He's burst of acceleration. He's quick to turn with. You know, shooting-wise, he feels absolutely fine. From what I did take shots with him, he, I think he hit the post once from long from a long shot and stuff like that. So, yeah, in terms of, like, shooting, I don't think you can have a problem with him. He feels, he feels like Lozano. He's got similar in-game stats to Lozano, and that's how he feels in-game. He feels very, very capable of scoring from like any distance you know getting in behind like getting through one-on-one -on -one, I think he's gonna finish it and his curves a lot better than Lozano's so I would probably take a lot more finesse shots with him than I got the chance to passing wise excellent that's the reason I put him cam in game 
Agility wise, dribbling wise, absolutely phenomenal. Honestly, I've really enjoyed using his dribbling. He's just so easy to weave in and out of centre mids with and just weave in and out of defenders with as well in general. Uh, physical wise, now he does stay balanced, like he does stay on his feet, but he does lose the ball very easily as well, just like Werner. He is pretty weak and I wouldn't really try and get in physical battles with him. And this Fred, I'm just going to quickly say, He's very, very good. If you're looking for a box-to-box centre mid, this Fred is very, very good. He's very nice on the ball. He tracks up and down the pitch all the time. Obviously, he's very, very quick as well for a centre mid. And his dribbling feels very nice. And you can you can run past midfielders with him. You can pass him the ball and just run past and just dribble past midfielders. Yeah, his Fred feels very nice on the ball. And yeah, like I said, these three players were all really good. It's just unfortunate I lost two of the games. And yeah, I'm... <laughs> That's me done for FIFA for today. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new. Twitter's always down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.